welcome to my channel. I'm Andrea of Beyond the Pink Door. So first, thank you for all the comments and feedback, messages and everything about the last video that I filmed with Anne-Marie of the Crafty Studio. So we had we had great fun doing that video. It was it was kind of half planned. I had been planning to call to Anne-Marie and to do the draw for the Sew Fest of December. Oh, and congratulations to our five winners on that. And thanks to everybody who entered. Really, really wasn't expecting uh, 73 entries. So yeah, that was super. That, yeah, let's hope we'll be able to do that as like an annual event. Um, yes, so uh, today's video is a little bit different. Uh, I'm feel filming in my bedroom. Um, it's actually a really lovely day out today. Really nice. Storm Brendan has gone. And good luck. <laughs> Thanks for calling. Uh, I'm going to do a little try on session for you today to show you everything that I made in December. So I made actually quite a bit in December because my... So, oh yeah, here. This is my, this is my chair in my bedroom. Um, I covered this last year. Yeah, I really like it. God, can a girl ever get enough of animal print? <laughs> Never. <laughs> so what I'm wearing today is a Freya top. It's a little hacked neckline Freya top. I love the fit of the Freya top, like, you know, semi-fitted. This is a gorgeous jersey I got in my sewing box. I lowered the neckline by, I think it was, yeah, one centimeter. And then I did like a little t-shirty neckline on it. So yeah, I really, really enjoy wearing this. It's got three quarter length sleeves, which I really like as well, covers the bingo wings. And yeah, cause when I'm, I, I'm wearing this for working and I'm wearing, I made another few as well. Uh, I constantly roll up the sleeves anyway. So thought, yeah, why not? Just to the elbow, keeps me warm and yeah, great to work in. So this is what it looks like on. Yeah, nice little length. I've made another one in this fabric that I got in my sewing box as well. Little cute cars all over it. Yeah, I've also made one out of this fabric that I got from Quilt Yarn Stitch. I've, I've worn all of these a few times and they've washed really lovely. And I just love the quality of the jersey in these. These are quite similar. And I also made one out of this fabric, not this one exactly, but I was wearing it in the last video with Anne-Marie. Really lovely. It's drying at the moment. So this is really nice. This is a, a two-sided boiled wool from Quilter and Stitch. It's the Estelle coat from Stylark patterns. This is this is so cozy. It's got the little waterfall front to it. It takes a little bit of faffing. You wouldn't want to be too OCD about your fall being perfect. But oh this is this is actually so nice. The sleeves are a little bit long. I was going to shorten them and then I thought, do you know what? I like them turned up. There's pockets in it. I just put a, a light fabric in for the pockets because I just find thick pockets make my hips look thicker. <laughs> so yeah, really like, really like this. This is just so cozy. And because it's the boiled wool, there's no hems or anything on the edge. Just, yeah, I just have to make sure that you cut them all nice and straight. So um, I'm an old fashioned girl. I like my scissors. I rarely use the rotary cutter, but yeah, I seem to get some nice straight edges on it. Um, so that's, that's that. It's actually too warm for that today. Hard to believe. So the other jacket I made, of course, is the Francine. I'm sure you're sick the t to the teeth of my Francine, but I just love it. It just goes with everything in my wardrobe. So here's my sew over it Francine with the most gorgeous lining known to man. I just love it. Look 
like it. I didn't mess the button that on, but anyway. Uh, I put little covered buttons on this jacket. I hadn't actually bought any buttons to go on the jacket. So I covered some because, yeah, I'm the sort who will just leave something and get back to it in about three months. So if I, if I waited to buy buttons for this, uh, this would probably be sitting here for me to show you in March. <laughs> so I just covered the little buttons, put them on. And I actually really like that look as well. Um, I noticed last night actually on Instagram, as you do, that uh, Susie from Sewing in Spain has made a velvet Francine and it is just to die for. So I really feel I need a velvet Francine as well. I know I'm going to make one out of the gorgeous um, Lydia McElroy fabric that I got from Anne Marie last week. But yeah, I think. I think a, a um, velvet Francine is needed in my wardrobe. Uh, I've got a few dresses, so stay tuned. I'll be back with the dresses on, okay? I'm back with my, well, one of my Nemesia dresses. Uh, for those who don't know, the Nemesia is a glasshouse patterns dress. Um, I was lucky enough to be a pattern tester for this dress. And I think the count now is, maybe this is the sixth one I think I made, but oh jeez, I really love it. I so like it. Uh, I made this one from a lovely jersey from Maeve's Dress Fabrics. Um, this one has the like three quarter length sleeves with a little tie on the end. I think this, I think this qualifies for sew twist and ties on hash on uh, Instagram. Nice round neck pockets. Um, I've shortened this up a few inches from the actual pattern because my short legs, uh, but it's it's really comfortable. I made one from this fabric as well. Again, this is from Maeve's Dress Fabrics. Love this one. Wore this one loads over Christmas, but I'm quite sad <laughs> because it shrank. Uh, it shrank not in the wash this week um, for all of those who will tell me yeah because you don't pre-wash your fabrics they're going to shrink um, I had the unfortunate experience of it yeah, going into the dryer so it washed beautiful it hasn't lost any color actually that was the second time for it to be washed so it wasn't the washing machine it was the bloom and dryer now I never put my handmaids into the dryer but this slipped in I have no idea how but it's yeah it's okay it's the it actually just shrank in length so it shrank about I'd say about three inches so the waistline is up a little bit higher obviously it's well above my knee but um, I'm toying with the idea of letting down the hem there's a just there's about an inch in the hem so it wouldn't be so bad um, but yeah it's it's okay. It's all right with tights. I can I can wear it with tights, but I am a bit sad about that. And yeah, I was absolutely horrified to see it coming out of the dryer. I just had this horrible sinking feeling. And <laughs> um, yeah, I have steamed it. I've really ironed the guts out of it, and it's still short. But I'll be more careful. I'll be more careful with this. Um, yeah, it might be just like a tunic kind of length with leggings. It's okay. I'll get over it. Um, so I'm back in the Avid Seamstress day dress. Now, what's not to love about this dress? I mean, you whip it up in a matter of a couple of hours and it's just the loveliest dress to wear. And of course, get pockets. <laughs> I've only made this version yet. I've made it, I've made it twice. Um, I haven't made the one with the buttons down the front. Uh, I think I'm going to have to make that one next. I really like it. Uh, the fit is just, just lovely. I just love it. Absolutely love this fabric. I have seen it in another couple of colours. I think I may have to, I, may, I think I may have to buy some other colours of it. I just absolutely love it. Um, so the next thing I made in December was the birdie shirt from Pattern Scout. 
Uh, this was a pattern test I was involved in. I made it from a lovely viscose from Crafty Studio. Love all the colours in these. I made the I made the version with all the pin tucks down the front. Now I thought these were going to be such a laborious job to do, but actually they were so easy. The pattern just made them so easy to do. They were to stop at the waist, but I just didn't like that look on myself, so I closed them all the way down to the end. So they go all the way down to the hem. And I also closed mine down the back as well. So I really enjoyed doing the collar and the cuffs on this. Everything came together really nicely. The instructions were absolutely super. And I enjoyed being part of the pattern testing as well. It was great. So I've worn this, I've worn this loads because there's lovely room in it for working. And yeah, definitely gonna make some more of these. I think I'll make one in a plain fabric just to show off all the lovely pin tucks in it and I will size down the next time. Um, so now I'm back with another top I made. This is the Coco Wawa chestnut top. This is such a lovely top. This is made with uh, full length sleeves on it, which of course end up being pulled up like this when I'm working. It's got a lovely little feature of a ribbon at the back. There's a few different versions of it as well. So I made this, made this one with the ribbon on the shoulder. And then there's another version with little ribbon ties all the way down the back as well. I bought a metre and a half of both of these fabrics in Quilter and Stitch in their sale. And I got this top and a Freya out of the metre and a half. Now that was a little bit of pattern Tetris, um, but yeah, they're just, they're great. I have one more top to try on for you. And then that is the last of the December makes. So my last make to show you is this top. Now this is um, an I Am Patterns. So this is the version with the gathered top. Now I know it's difficult to see on this pattern or this this fabric but it's got a really cool puffy sleeve. So this is one version. The other version has a lovely sort of puffy cuff on it. There was to be buttons on the top here but I left them out because the fabric is actually so stretchy I knew it would fit over my head. I bought this cuffing. I, I had it in my stash from goodness knows where and I put that on it so it's on there and it's also on the hem. So this is a really lovely top to wear. Yeah I just love it, it's just such a cool pattern. I just really love this, absolutely gorgeous. I have some lovely printed velvets downstairs in my sewing room that I'm going to make some, some more of these out of. I think they'll be really lovely. Um, again They've been in my stash for a while. They were another little eBay buy. Um, this again, oh God, I just love stretch. Um, I think everything that I've shown you, I keep looking at the floor because my bedroom now resembles a teenage bedroom preparing for like a night out. There's clothes everywhere. <laughs> but anyway, that's all for now. That's my, this is my first time to do a, what I made in a month. Um, if I do one for January, I don't think there'll be quite so much in it, but yeah, thank you so much for watching and tune in for the next video, which will involve another little chat with Anne-Marie. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Bye.